Oh, could I have yours? Well, I am. Um, yeah, just uh, bought myself a new place. A place I um, have been looking for a long time for a new place to move to. Thought, well, it's not working out here. It's a nice area here and all, but um. It's just the house is a little bit small at the moment for a family, so plus uh, instead of building a shed here, well, the place I uh, my new place, it's much bigger than this. So in a convenient town location, a nice area. The house has got plenty of room. It's got a pool room. It's got a nice big shed with a, uh, a workshop with its own power and everything. It's quite large. The shed's amazing. They uh, chuck that swampy on it. It's got three phase power to the house, but not the shed. But I'm going to work on that later on at some other stage. Here yeah, I can fit like six cars in the shed alone. And there's another carport beside it under cover of car park, which is fit four cars under. It's a nice size. The expenses live in there versus here. Things, um, yeah, it's the same as living here in this size land block. It's a uh, similar cost, it's not that much more expensive. So, all this stuff here, have enough. I'm actually gonna organize things better now. I'll have room. The shed's got a nice storage area undercover and it's sealed too, which is just on paper, it's not on concrete, but I'll work on that. Let's just say all this stuff, everything here will comfortably fit in my shed, plus all the stuff from my original place on the farm in Merbeen. The original stuff I got stored in a 20-foot container. All that will fit in my shed too comfortably, so I can be able to set up to um, dust off my old TVs and uh, use them in the shed there and display them. Although well, they've been five years in a 40 degree heat container there, but I'm going to just check capacitors here and there. Some of the TVs I've recapped when I talk of them, but I give them a variac test to see how they go. Five years in this 40 degree heat somewhere in that container. I'll do some checks to make sure they're okay, but they're just going to sit and display anyway, and I'll work on them another time. All my meters have finally be stored properly. I can put decent shelving up and set up a nice wall on the back. Uh, there's no actual easements on the property, so I've got no restrictions to put concrete down and extend the shed a bit more if I really wanted to. There's plenty of bloody room there. It's got plenty of big enough backyard. So I set up a meter board and everything now. So they're setting their solar panels up on that shed. But um, yeah, it's quite exciting. Finally, I'll have space. And here they're Workshop would be amazing when I put that swampy on the roof. Ah, so that's the nice things to come. I, um, I won't have a cluttered small shed like this now. I've got a nice workshop. Of, um, I've, got, I've got tables I've put in there, my container and everything, which I'll set up with the toolboxes. A vice, a bench grinder. Let's make a stand for that. I did have one, but threw it out when I moved originally, but I'll make another one. Set up, I've got a vice, a vice and workbench I'm going to use it put in there. Set up an electronics lab, a proper one to fix little things like this in a separate area. Which, um, I've got to find out how to put this thing back together. This boom box, being a Phillips, stay stupidly over complicated their mechanisms with, when it comes to cassette, when it came to cassette mechanisms. It's 90% functional. I've found some gears, I've put some gears in there to play works, to take up works, fast forward and rewind work. But I'm having a little bit of an issue with an auto stop. This is a full auto stop mechanism. I've got bits and pieces in here which I've got to find where they go back in. There's all those complicated linkages and leverages and other all sorts of levers in there. That's just Phillips. They invented the cassette format and they just went their own way and just over complicated things with plastic and cheese gears. Um. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it together, box it up and just leave it all in one piece, dust it off and I'm working it. 
it's a long term project, I just got to spend time on it, putting this mechanism of the, uh, back together 100%. It's got these other linkages here which I don't know where the hell they go. I forgot where they go. Part of the eject and everything. It's one complicated boom box. It says it does have a uh, short wave on there and other cool features. It's worth the story. Old boom boxes are always fun and cool to have. But it does actually play a tape fine now, so that's the main issue that was on with it. So all this stuff in here, this shed will be completely, completely empty. You know, all me, uh, I'll have room. I'll have a spot for my motors and my meters and everything. So it's quite exciting. Haven't tested this yet, but I'm gonna um some other time. Find out if I'll hook, hook this thing up to my scope and we'll test it. It's some sort of a frequency generator. Pretty cool little uh, simple device. But anyway, there's just uh, uh, plenty of videos in the pipeline. So I'll be able to um once I've uh, moved out of here and settled in, and when I get a bit of spare time, I'll um, yeah, have plenty of things to video, especially now that I'll have room. I can do more teardowns and fix things and all sorts of things now with more room and an air conditioned workshop. But yeah, basically, all this stuff here can all fit in there comfortably. And I can finally finish doing this radio work. Finish off this cabinet. Long term project. Yeah, gotta love our projects. Had an APC battery there, which um, my APC battery's um, weakened off now. I'm just trying to get it to revive. Some of the oldest SLA of the lot I got. These two batteries are doing fine, I've uh, just upgraded some wiring. I've got to replace these two for when I move now. This thing works quite well. Um, kept the panel nice and dusted and washed. That's helped a lot. There's got dust on the bed and the mud from the rain. Yeah, it's probably dead, this battery. Oh well. Anyway, exciting times are coming, so. Definitely no um, sheds getting built here. Didn't work out anyway. I know I've been talking about it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work out, but nah. Decided not to worry about it. I've got a better, I've got a bigger and better place to move to now, so got much more room in a bigger shed, so that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.